What is something in your life that is super effing awesome? Paid off my student loans yesterday. My 8 pound dog got hit by a car last night, but he came out with only a cracked rib and a broken tooth. He's a badass. Sometimes I drive to work in my boat. I just choked on my water and didn't die. My 4 month old slept past 4.30 am this morning. I kicked cancer's A. F cancer, yeah. Also congrats. The love that I feel from my students each work day. I work in an elementary school. And I feel really grateful to have found a job that I love so much. Sometimes I wake up feeling down. But once I step into my workplace and see even one of my students, my morning lights up. This is one of my favorite examples of how loved I feel. Student, what age do I have to be to be able to go wherever I want? Me, I think you can pretty much do anything you want once you're 18. Student, how old will you be when I'm 18? Me, HMM, 35. Student, when I'm 18 and you're 35. Can we have dinner together and see each other sometimes? I almost teared. She might not even remember me when she's 18. But just the thought of her caring so much brings me so much joy. Elementary teachers are remembered. I can still remember all of their last names and can picture them in my head. And I'm 30. This so hecking much. Elementary teachers, let it be known that you are remembered and fondly so. I found a dollar in my jacket. F yeah. Finna buy me some meths, that's your sister cheering you up. Yesterday the CEO of the company I work for pledged to donate $4,000 I need for a surgery, to save my eye. That's awesome, right? I just thought he was some mean boss guy, and never met him in the two years I've worked there. But I was chatting with his nephew who also works there. I honestly didn't know they were related about my condition and he asked me to print a thing related to it. And after my shift I was called into the CEO's office upstairs and apparently he told him everything. And he offered to personally fund it. Such a huge help. Today is my wedding day. Wish me luck everybody. I live 10 minutes from a small but fun ski mountain. F yeah is it winter yet? F yeah. Winter sports. I finally have a stable job. F yeah. Job security. I love your refine enthusiasm. Keep being you man. F yeah. How are the horses treating yap? I got a raise yesterday. F yeah. More money rules. I think he means he got a boner. I'm in Hawaii all month. F yeah. Hawaii. Aloha Mathafe. My little brother and my older brother. Hell yeah. Brothers kick a. I know right. My younger brother is the funniest person ever. And my older is just one of the best people alive. I haven't gotten bitten by a mosquito for the past 5 or 6 years. Don't know why. I can be in a group of people in which everyone else is getting torn up. And they don't even look at me. I get bitten by mosquitoes. I can see them land. Drink. And take off again. But I barely feel it when it happens. And there's no mark or bite left afterwards. You might be the same and just not notice them. Because you're not allergic to their saliva. Yep. I was about to say this. I for sure get bitten. I'm just not allergic to them. Also not allergic to poison ivy. Allergic mold. Ragweed. Pollen. Dust and basically everything else in existence though. F yeah. Immune to mosquitoes. A man can't have so much power. Get your thyroid checked. Specifically your TSH levels. Could this be another thread like the one where a redditor recommended op get checked out for something, and it helped op, to treat some potentially life threatening health issue early. My little brother and sister are becoming awesome people, and I'm so lucky for having them. F yeah. I love gratitude. Also I have awesome pants. I got a new place, that isn't a mega cheese apartment. F yeah. Apartments that aren't shtai rock. What is a mega cheese apartment? I'm not sure if the slang I know is the same, but that would mean really poorly maintained where I am, western US. My wife and my son, if I think too hard about how much they mean to me, and how lucky I'm to have them in my life I feel like crying. I love my wife too, we just found out we are pregnant, I'm crying a little right now, congrats. I don't have a kid, but I received this advice before, do not shake the baby, you'll get pissed off a lot. But don't shake the baby, just finish up, put the kid down, and go cool off. Op is absent, so I will do this. F yeah, wives and sons are awesome. Started college. F yeah, education. I read this as a Bill Wirtz jingle. 
My cat was angry at me because I accidentally stepped on her tail, but then I played Billy Jane for her and she started purring. Found a 50 euro note in my passport when I went to make sure it was still valid for my upcoming trip. Great dude yourself from the past. Op in this post. F yeah. Op rules. Wait you're the op though. I be and moan about my job, but, being honest, it's really fulfilling, and pays the bills, plus some extra, for my wife and I, so that's pretty goddamn sweet, if you ask me, f yeah, security is bad a. Eh? I went back to college this past spring after 2 years of depression and drug addiction, f yeah, this is my favorite reply so far, f fine congratulations. I have a cat and a dog, hell yeah that's f fine awesome. Can I hire you as my hype man? He has a dog and a cat. This thread, hell yeah. This thread rules, you rock. My 6 year old daughter is the greatest and only thing that is keeping me going. She is awesome, f yeah. Daughters are awesome, and keeping going is awesome, f yeah. My pet dog, hell yeah. Pets rock, f yeah. Pet rocks. My pelvic floor muscles after 4 children, f yeah. Pelvic children. I somehow imagine them all looking like Elvis. F yeah. F yeah. I love questions. F yeah F yeah. Sobriety. I haven't had alcohol in 1986 days. According to my badge at r slash stop drinking. Even better is the chance to advise and support people who are also making the journey into recovery. When I got out of the military I had a serious back injury. The VAD just threw piles of opiates at me. Took me about 10 years to admit I was utterly addicted and drugs were running my life because it was a prescription I insisted I wasn't an addict. Even though I couldn't hold a job, I was super unreliable and alienated everyone who cared about me. Anyway, in 2016 I realized how badly I was messing up and finally got help. I can actually say it has been 2 years 6 months since I took an opiate and in that time I went from unemployable to working in a job I love. Making 50k more than I've ever made in my life, and in a stable loving relationship, changes like the one you, and I made, are easily the best thing in the world, I'm proud of you. I found a bomb a apartment in my favorite city with my boyfriend and it's cheap as f. Op didn't respond to this one, probably hit a nerve, can I live with you guys, sorry I already am there's no extra room. Getting back home today, after traveling around Europe on a tight budget, hell yeah, home sweet home. My marriage, 38 good years, and getting better, hell yeah, marriage, your level of enthusiasm throughout these comments, is hilarious and sweet, I like how you modulate the congrats based on age appropriateness. My wife, hell yeah, dude, your wife rules, I know, I was going to say my wife, but your wife is great too, I guess. After almost 21 years of being committed to a cult, I finally broke free a few months ago, almost daily, I get to experience and learn new things about the world, especially through music, movies, and meeting new people, my mind gets opened more and more, f yeah cult free is the way to be, congratulations on your freedom. Saying f yeah, or, saying something rocks, f yeah. Saying f yeah refine rocks, this guy man, he's the super refine awesome thing in my life right now. Apple picking this afternoon, gonna bake a bunch of small apple pies. Up and everyone reading this, hell yeah, up and everybody reading this rocks. F, f yeah, f it up. All of you moth earth celebrating happy shin your life, woo, f yeah, happiness rocks. After years of thinking I would be forever alone. I got a refined date, with a girl, Hoss not paid to interact with me. You. Thought, at 34, that my years of finding something slash one stable were probably behind me, made my peace with it, moved to a new city this year with a well paying job, and expected to just work, and spend a lot of time by myself, took our controller, I'm an a director, out for dinner one night, just to thank her for being, so kind to me, when I was having trouble adjusting to the change. We are getting married in December. I had the same best mate, since we were 3 years old, until we got to 21, and her new abusive man cut off all contact between us. I searched for her on and off for 11 years and we finally found each other. After she left him in October last year, he nearly killed her, 
stabbed multiple times, anyways, ceiling now, and when we met up for the first time in a decade we skipped to each other like the 3 year olds we were, when we first met, it's like we were never apart, I feel like I won the lottery, hope he is rotting in a dark cell, that scumbag, good to see you make contact again, love these feel good stores, unfortunately not, but has not allowed anywhere near her, and her new home has alarms on all windows and doors, she's doing so well, she was a bit like a rescue pup at first, now she's healed a little, she's just pure joy, every day is a day she never expected to have, and she treats it as such, some alcohol issues, but she will be fine overall, it'll make sure of it, f yeah, friendship rocks, f yeah, I love all your comments, this is the most awful yet heartwarming thing, thank you for sharing this, and I'm so glad you've reconnected, my dog, everyone's dog, yeah, f yeah, dogs everywhere, I hit 53,000 words in the book I'm writing, and I'm only around halfway through, this is the longest thing I've ever written, as my first book punched in at 51,000, I've gone through a real relationship with this book where I hated it for a while, but we went to therapy, and worked our issues out and now it's getting better. I'm getting married today. I have friends now, and I'm finally smart for my age, and there's a small chance, that I get a girlfriend in the following weeks. Yeah, f yeah, having people there to support you rocks. You know those mythical, legitimate, work from home jobs that make over $100,000. Yeah, I've got one of those, and I've had it for the last 6 years, and it kicks a, it did require 7 years of engineering school, 8 years of working in an office, and strategically building a reputation for being able to work remotely, i.e., not by selling oils, essential or otherwise. I've stopped self-harming. My daughter, two year olds have their moments, but f me, she is cute, she is starting to talk in full sentences, so we can actually have a two way conversation, it's great, and she is funny, she actually tries to make jokes which blows my mind, she has started singing too which is cute f, she is so affectionate too, full of hugs and kisses, I got my first back quote I love you mummy the other day, that damn near killed me, yeah, kids are super fine awesome, but only your own, the rest are kinda meh, you pump me up op, my eyebrows require no maintenance, f fine yes mate, I get homesick a lot and often forget, that I have been given a real fantastic life adventure, I moved to France, and live with a pretty awesome man, Zaxa baby I love you, I know you're reading this, it is super refine awesome, that I live in this incredible country with a sexy French dude, that can correctly identify random unmarked cheese on a plate, I like that his cheese spotting skills are among the main things you value in him, hell yeah, French dudes, this cheese identification skill is my favorite, the world needs more of that. I've been off painkillers for 10 days, after being on them for about 10 years. Hurricane Florence barely hurt us, when it should have wrecked us up. I'm starting to text a girl and things are going well, I don't know if she likes me romantically or as a friend, but I'm excited to be texting someone. My shoulders are double jointed. Everything is awesome, everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome when we are living our dream, f yeah, live in the dream, baby. While cleaning out my basement I found the box of all the love letters my boyfriend wrote me while he was away at college in the 1990s. They are so romantic, so poetic, so vulnerable and honest. They made me feel so loved and so special. Reading them again made me feel like my heart was just brimming over. So I went upstairs and gave that guy a kiss we've been married 19 years. My awesome baby, f yeah, your baby rules. Had a rough morning. Found this thread, f yeah you made my day opus. I recently got into a relationship and I have lost roughly 22 kilograms. Life is going amazingly at the moment. This thread is super refine awesome. Plus it's Saturday and I've been looking forward to today and doing nothing all week. Dude, my daughter is insanely awesome. She's 18, autistic, and just graduated from high school. Now she's in the 18 to 21 program for special needs young adults. She is kicking it say. Today is me, and my boyfriend's one year clean off of a hardcore years long I've meth habit 1f I'm year today baby. We are both fat now, but feel so damn amazing. He went through losing his mom, 
November 29th, and I was so point scared it would tempt him to use, but it didn't. We've been through hell and back point and let me tell ya point this side of the mountain is so point much better. I just took a massive dump and feel so much better. I'm in medical school learning the shy wanted to learn my whole life. It's pretty satisfying. The people that surround me in my life, honestly so blessed, f yeah, blessings rock. I'm one of those PPL who can eat a lot and won't get fat. The day after I was discharged from the hospital for a suicide attempt, Animal Crossing 2019 was announced. Got a load of concerts in the near future, f yeah. My teacher told me my script for class was genuinely funny, it's meant to be a comedy, before you say it. My wife had this baby yesterday, holy sh. I'm a refine winner, f yeah, you win. My first son was born two days ago, holy moly that breaks the scale of awesome. I'm effing in love, after going through a divorce a few years ago, I didn't think it would ever happen again, butterflies, mooning over each other, the works, awesome.